Hey everyone, welcome to your journey in Leathercraft. In this video, we're gonna dive into the Explore Leathercraft kit, talk about what comes in it, what projects you can do with it, and where you can take your Leathercraft after that. But if we haven't met yet, my name's Joe Meeling. I've been in the industry since 2005, started running my business 23 plus in 2013, and since then have really built a passion for helping people get started in this industry and grow in their craft. So I invite you to follow along and let me be a part of your leather craft journey and get you fast tracked to where you wanna go with it. The Explore Leathercraft kit is really your fast track to the leathercraft industry. It has everything you need to get started, get a few projects under your belt, and really decide how far you wanna take this craft. So as we get this opened up, let's look at what comes in here. So number one, we got a mallet. Wood, wood handle mallet here. We're gonna use that actually to be hitting our tools. And we're gonna talk a little bit on how we're using all these tools as we move forward here. So you're gonna have a couple pieces of scrap leather in here. So it's always good to get a little practice in before we dive into your projects, all right? And we got a few projects we're gonna lay out. I'm just gonna pull everything out of this box. I'm gonna lay projects on one side, tools and materials on another. We'll go through this piece by piece. Don't forget at the bottom of your box, there are some papers that we're gonna wanna have in here. So, you do have this great little instructional book that goes through and talks a lot about what we're talking about in this video uh, and the videos to come. But sometimes it's easier to see it in a video and have somebody walk you through it than just trying to make sense of the way it's wrote out there. So we do have that instruction book, we'll set that aside. Now, let's take a look at our projects that we have. So we have a bag tag. It comes with a little chain in there. Great little project, throw on your suitcase, travel, uh, backpacks, purses, any of that. Great little tag to have there. Now we have a keychain tag. This one's gonna get into the lacing portion as well. So you're gonna learn some tooling as well as some lacing. A few different options on the tooling there. Next project, bookmark. Really cool, either for yourself or as a gift. Great project. It doesn't take construction work. It just gives you a chance to work on your tooling and your finish process. Very similar in shape to this project here, but this is actually a cuff bracelet. So that's gonna come around. Uh, snap is already set for you. So you're ready to go there. Again, this is kind of that introduction fast track here. So setting snaps, that's a skill we can learn down the road when you start looking at different hardware. But for here, already set up and ready to go for you. Now, our last project in the bunch is gonna be this lace together wallet here. So nice little card wallet. Um, depending on the size of your phone, may have a little tiny one you can fit in there but more so it's the size of that card wallet. Uh, again, great little front pocket wallet to have. See, we're gonna get into some of the sewing and lacing on this, as well as the tooling. Then we have a couple of practice pieces of leather. Those, depending on your kit, could be a variety of shapes because that's some extra scrap leather there till we can work with that to start practicing with these tools before we put them on a project. Now, this leather that comes in here, what kind of leather is it? Oh my gosh, we can deep dive into all sorts of kind of leather, but let's keep it basic for now. This is cowhide that we're using, and it's been through a process called veg tanning or vegetable tan. Um, it's a natural process, uses uh, natural tannins, in the leather and we're not going to deep dive into that i've been doing this for a lot of years and i don't even know the full tanning process right when we get our leather as a leather crafter it's been through the tannery and it comes ready to tool on but the important thing is that this is veg tan leather you'll notice this is different than what maybe your leather jacket or some of your leather purses uh, your leather couch car seats that might feel a little bit different than this leather here different tanning process. 
But this veg tan, very important that this is what we're using to tool on because this is gonna take our impressions when we tool. And we'll talk about how to get these to take those impressions as we move forward uh, throughout the series. But there's a couple sponges in here. Now, why do we need sponges for leather work? Well, we're gonna use one of them for applying some water. When we get to talking about our tooling, that's gonna be one of the things we'll make sure we do is we'll be wetting our leather down to tool it. The other sponge, that one's gonna come after we've done our tooling and looking at the finish process, we got an easy one-step finish process that comes in this bottle. So that's what that is for uh, with that bottle there. So we're gonna keep one of the sponges right next to that. With your book here, there's a clear piece of paper. Now, this is actually a usable item. This isn't just a filler paper that's in here. So see how that's nice and transparent? So this vellum here, we're gonna use that to transfer patterns. So we can lay this down, we'll be able to trace some things, be able to put it on the leather. Again, we'll get into that little deeper dive in the series, but hang on to this piece and let's not throw that away. Next, we have our tools, this little bag of tools. We're gonna dive into this and look individually at what these tools are. So you have somewhat of an idea what to expect. So these ones here, these tools are all ones that we're gonna be putting down in the leather, hitting with our mallet. We'll talk about technique when it comes to our stamping videos, but we're gonna have, let's just look at some of the different shapes in here. We have this one here that has some texture on the end, but it's flat across there. That one's gonna be called a backgrounder. Okay, now this might be a deep dive of information. Don't panic, we'll go through all of it in the next videos. This little round guy in here, that's called a cedar. So we'll be using that in different areas. We can use all these tools to create different patterns. Um, or get into a full floral type of tooling as well. Okay, this one, it's kind of a little half moon shape there, or a little sliver of a moon there. That's gonna be called our veiner. Now, in contrast, there's one that's, this is probably more of a half moon or crescent moon type of uh, shape to it. See, it's a little bit thicker wider than that veiner is, but this is called our camouflage tool. Now, this one, it's textured across the top, but it's angled. See, it's not a flat surface, it's angled on there. That one there is called our bevel. So we'll use that, we'll cut some lines into that leather, and then this one's gonna go actually start doing some shadowing away from our lines because we're gonna create depth, right? Because we're dealing with a flat piece of leather and we wanna create a design that stands up uh, and kind of comes to life off of there. That's the joy of doing leather craft is we can just take this remnant piece of the food industry and turn that into something that's really wearable art in the case of that bracelet. Okay, bevel aside, now to our last tool here. It's kind of a teardrop shape tool. That's called a pear shader. Teardrop shape or a pear shape. If you look at it as a pear, it's gonna help you remember the name of that better. Let's see if we get focused there, but that one there, we're gonna actually start putting some different shading in there um, and adding more dimension to our tooling with that. So with those six tools, we're gonna be able to do a lot of different patterns. Um, and really get creative with those. Now, I'm gonna put those all right back in my bag here. I recommend you do the same. Those tools can slip under, underneath things or around the corner. Always keep those in a, in a bag together so we don't wind up losing any of those tools. Now, lastly, this weird, crazy looking tool here. What is this thing? So we're gonna bust this one open. This 
is called a swivel knife. All right, now what is it? in the world is a swivel knife? Swivel knife, we're gonna actually be holding in our hand and cutting into that leather to cut our initial lines into that. Now that comes with a small little wrench there. That's simply to tighten or loosen here so these blades are, can be interchangeable. This little tool, really you're not gonna need that for quite a while unless you're ready to change a blade already. But these aren't blades that wear out. Um, it's just if you're ready to upgrade your tools, but that's a little further down in the journey than where you're at right now. So we're gonna just leave that tool in our little bag there. But we have this weird chalky stuff. What is this weird chalky stuff? That is actually called rouge. Um, now, if you're familiar with, with knives and sharpening and things like that, you might already know what this is. Um, this isn't necessarily specific to the leather craft industry. Um, it's more of a specific to blades. Um, but this is a, well, not just blades, even jewelry, but it's a, called Jeweler's Rouge. It's a buffing compound. So we're gonna take that with our little piece of cardboard that we have here and rub that rouge right on there. Okay, so we're getting some on our cardboard. Kind of see as I tilt, tilt that in the light, you can see that we have some down on there. What that's gonna help do is polish this blade because we want it to run nice and smooth through our leather. So we're gonna get that, watching the angle of our blade. Actually pull that down across there. I can tip that to the other side, making sure we're even running on each side of that blade the same. So I'm not just gonna be polishing that and getting that to where it'll pull smooth. We'll touch on that again when we get into to, into doing our tooling here, but that gets you everything you need to get started in leather work as far as our tools and stuff go here. Now, what else might you need? One thing is a hard surface to tool on. I have, this is a, a piece of granite that's inset into my table here. Again, I've been doing leather work a long time. I've upgraded to this. You don't have that. Have a, your kitchen table you can sit and tool on. Uh, the sturdier a table you can get, the easier it's gonna be to do your tooling. So get a nice sturdy table. Again, the best you can have. I've heard of people sitting on the edge of their concrete step and doing it down there to get started with. It doesn't have to be fancy. But then we're gonna need a little dish for water. So just a little plastic dish, a little tub of work container with some water in there. And that'll be what we use to actually wet our leather down. Aside from that, when we get into our different projects, might need a little pair of scissors or a knife so we can cut some lace um, and, a, and a pin for transferring some patterns, but nothing that's probably not already sitting uh, in your kitchen drawer waiting to go for you. So we'll get into some of those extra little things in each project, but it's just scissors, pin, little stuff like that. So. I appreciate you taking the time to check this out. I can't wait to walk through this with you. In this series, we're gonna walk through each of these projects, look at different ways to tool them, how to assemble them. Um, and then lastly, look at next steps in leather work and where do you wanna go from here. So appreciate you following along and we'll see you in the next video.